Hi, it's uh, Duncan here again. Um, I just wanted to give a demonstration of how my um, plug-in open cockpit's USB mapper actually works. So I thought I'd give you a demonstration. Um, this is a USB card down here. It's connected to my computer and I've got a power source here, 5 volts, which you don't actually need when you're only running this amount of stuff. Um, I've got an analog input here, I've got the steering column. I've got a, uh, so sorry, that's the USB card which is, can connect up to four master cards. Master card 0, 1, 2, 3. So at the moment I'm just connecting one master card. And the master card's got four lots of outputs here. It's got, here's the digital outputs which is like your LEDs. Um, this one here does your inputs like switches, that one does inputs and this one does displays. So at the moment I've set up on output zero for this LED to come on. Now this is the PSYOC controller and if I turn on number 11 the LED comes on, off, on, off. If I turn this switch You'll see input zero comes on and off. And if I see number, I don't know, four to position zero on the digital output, four comes up there. But the thing is, you can do the same, th same thing with my plugin using these data refs. Now, what I've got here is data ref tool and data ref editor. Now, if I want to turn on LED 1, which is in position 11, so it's 11 here, and it's 11 here, I just change that value in an array to 1, and LED comes on, put it back to 0, LED goes off. And I've also got the digital outputs, the analog outputs, that's position 11. So I've actually got position 1 to 4. So if we have a look at position 1, it's currently got a value of 124 or sometimes 123. So if I turn the steering column left, it goes all the way down to 59 and then right all the way up to 197. So basically you can read that data ref and use it to steer the plane. Um, so then my switch is in position zero. So just look at, you see here's my inputs digital. So if you've had four MasterCards plugged in, you can have up to 288 inputs, but we're looking at input zero. Turn the switch on becomes a 1, turn it off it becomes a 0 and you can see the same thing happening up here in data ref uh, tool 1, 0, 1, 0 in position 0 um, These um, I initially set the values of the switch to negative 1 because I don't know what the state is and they work in groups of 9 so you can see here that's ground and that's position zero and if I put that wire in there it'll be position one, two, three, so zero to eight which is nine inputs. So the first time you change any one of those nine inputs all um, nine inputs gets their state of the switch reflected here. So I'll turn the switch on now it's one but all the other ones have gone to what their positions currently are. But all these next nine, like if I turn on number 11, then this batch of nine will all show their state. But it doesn't really affect things. And of course I can also change the display. So at the moment I'm displaying a 10, which is blank. So if I put a zero in there, up comes zero. If I put a, um, a 3, up comes 3. And then it's got special characters like 10, 
Ten is blank, which turns it off. Eleven is a negative sign, etc. And also, you can like I could change. Whoops. I could change the fourth one in to be number two. And there's number two. So basically, what I'm trying to explain is. I've created these data refs to drive all these open cockpit um, devices, which then allows you to manipulate these data refs using XLUA, which is what I use. But it's also possible to use Fly with Lua, Python, C, or C to control them. But I just find XLUA is the simplest. So I can basically just write a you know a very simple script to to turn on the LED annunciator or to change a display or to see if a switch has been turned on or to see if a, um, analog inputs changed its value. Um, but anyway, I hope that makes it more clear how exactly my plugin is working. Thank you.